Moving on to news from Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's cash-strapped government has announced a taxation overhaul to boost revenue amid the country's crippling economic crisis, hiking value-added taxes and corporate income tax, and slashing the relief given to individual taxpayers. Sri Lankan Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe's government on Tuesday announced a taxation overhaul to boost revenue amid the country's crippling economic crisis. Vikrame Singhe, who also holds the finance ministry portfolio, plans to present an interim budget within weeks. He said measures were necessary as the current state of government finances was unsustainable. The implementation of a strong fiscal consolidation plan is imperative through revenue enhancement as well as expenditure rationalization measures in 2022, Vikrame Singhe's office said in a statement. An increase in value-added tax to 12% from 8% with immediate effect is among the key tax increases announced on Tuesday, which is expected to boost government revenues by 65 billion Sri Lankan rupees, that is 180.56 million US dollars. Other measures including increasing corporate income tax to 30% from 24% from October will earn an additional 52 billion rupees for the exchequer. Withholding tax on employment income has been made mandatory and exemptions for individual taxpayers have been reduced, the statement said. The island nation of 22 million people has been battered by its worst economic crisis since independence in 1948, with a severe shortage of foreign currency, stalling imports of essentials including food, fuel and medicines. In an interview last month, Vikrame Singh said he would cut the expenditures down to the bone in the upcoming interim budget and reroute funds into a two-year relief program.